Ciao Juventino of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, we'll speak about one topic, we'll speak about one person, Paul Pogba, breaking news in the afternoon, has been banned for four years because of doping, big bold verdict, it was breaking this afternoon, in the meanwhile we had time to digest it, what a news, was it surprising news, was it, no, we knew, we knew, because when you are not taking the option to go for a plea deal, that means halving the request asked by the accusation, you know that you can go two ways. Or go, it's over, and you can go back to play. Or you risk, because that's a risk, because you don't take the plea deal, to have the maximum punishment. Four years. What does that mean in other words? It's over. Career is over. Because when you come back, you will be 35, more or less. At 35, if you didn't play for four years at top elite level, it is over. It is over. Coming back, it's over. Will we still see Paul Pogba on football world? Could be if he still wants to, if he has the desire. But forget about top-level club. It is over. And it's sad. Yes, of course I'm sad. In today's video, I will speak to you about my feelings, my emotions, my opinion about all of that. That's important. But first, let's put it into context. Paul Pogba, four years request. He's saying, I received today the verdict and I believe that the verdict is incorrect. So according to him, it's incorrect. He also saying that he's sad, he's shocked, he's heartbroken for everything that he has built in his playing career, in his professional career. It has been taken like that away from him. Also saying, and that's important, as a consequence of the decision announced today, I will appeal this before the court of arbitration for sport, which means he still has the desire to fight, to show that he's not guilty and trying to overturn it. It can be that it's totally cancelled and that he can come back to on football tomorrow. can be that it will be half the punishment. When will it happen? It will happen in five, six months. It takes extremely long. Is it true or not? I don't know. I always said something. If someone is responsible for something, they need to be accountable. Like Fajoli. He said it himself, I was responsible, I made a mistake, I take the consequences. And this is for everyone on earth. You are guilty, you pay the consequences, as easy as that. If you are not guilty and you are able to prove it, to show it, well, then you have to be solved. You need to not be punished that much. But of course, that's a difficult situation, he needs to do it anyway. Am I sad for Paul Pogba? Of course I am sad. Of course I am sad. Well, four years, that means the career is over. For a top talent like him, for a player like him, of course I'm super sad. I watched Paul Pogba since he arrived. And before his first game, I already saw the potential. And I tell you, uh, since 2012, because I'm an old vintage football fan of Juve, I have Del Piero, I have Del Trezeguet, I have Buffon. And before that, the 95, 96, 97, 98 teams, that will always be here in my heart. Nobody will ever top them. But in that second part of my supporting career, 2012, when he arrived, not a lot of players were able to give me the emo. He had everything. Physicality, the technique, acrobacy, football IQ. Pff, what a play, a machine. Not a lot of players were able to give me the emotions that Paul Pogba was able to give me. And seeing all of that going away, it's harsh. Of course it is harsh for the person, Paul Pogba, that has always showed positivity, smile, happiness. Super, super, super happy and proud and emotional when he came back and seeing the affection of the supporters. Because he received a lot of affection of supporters. Then you will tell me, Beppe, was it a flop of bringing him back? Of course. Now it's easy to say, yes, of course. He played 12 games in two seasons. 213 minutes. Of course. Of course. It's a huge, big flop. But today it's easy to say. And then people will tell me, Bebepe, I told you. We knew. It was predictable. Look, since Pogba came back to Juve, he only made wrong decision after wrong decision after wrong decision and we all agree on that he's responsible for a lot of things i'm not speaking about doping but i don't know what i know are all the other things the injury we knew that it was an injury prone player that specific injury he had after one training session in usa nobody could predict that one because it was something that he never suffered from a knock in training session boom it's over and especially the consequences, him deciding not to go on surgery, the visit to Saudi Arabia that 
have been told to us it was for religion reasons, all the respect. But we know that he was speaking also with other clubs out of respect. Bad decision to have these pictures online in a moment where people were not believing in you. The ignorance of the doping case, because, you know, in USA something is legal, but in Europe not. And if you don't communicate with your club, whatever, it's your mistake at that level. It is your decision, your responsibility to communicate. If you don't do it, you pay the consequences as you are doing now. So, of course, it's a big flop. But could we predict it, all these kind of things? No, we couldn't. We could predict an injury prone player that had low back problems, that had knee problems, that had that problem. Yeah, but what happened that Juve nobody was able to predict it. And it's sad. It's the reality. We can say it at the moment as we speak, and it will probably be like that because the journey with Juve is probably over. Well, it is the biggest flop transfer ever of Juve, or at least from the last 10 years. He's responsible for it. Yes, of course. But you know, that's not what is really hurting me the most. Paul Pogba is one case. What is hurting me the most as a person at Beppe, not as Gigi Stuve, as Giuseppe Bonianni, Beppe, is the reaction that I see online. We are living in a world where it's hard for me. I promise you it's hard for me. Because as soon as the news is out, it's a race. Race for the first one that goes with the biggest bold statement. We have to judge. We have to say, I told you. We have to say it's deserved without knowing the person, without knowing the details. It's the first one that is putting the biggest clown emoji. I even read it's Allegri's fault. I even read Beppe. It's because of you. That's what I read today. We told you that you were too happy. As if being happy in a sport like football that is based on emotions is a crime. I'm sorry. It's a pity to see all of that. The humanity is lost. Today, whatever topic, it's not only on football, but whatever topic, I feel sincerely that there is less and less and less humanity. We don't take time to say we are speaking about a person that is probably suffering. Is it deserved? Maybe yes. Did he do mistake? Maybe yes. But we are still speaking about the person and we don't care. We are harsh. It is black or white. It is left or right. It is this or that. There is no middle way and we go hard and we go and we put it's sincerely it's hurting me and i'm also extremely sad for something else i'm extremely sad also for the people that received a bit of hope in the last few weeks in the last few months since 2024 the beginning a lot of people here in the channel in the comment section they ask me Beppe, is it true that paul Pogba will be back we read it online a source it hurts me that people believed in it. i always told you Wait, there is one thing sure. The core decision has been postponed because he wants to defend himself. And him and his entourage, they believe that they can defend themselves because they believe that they are innocent. But we don't know what will happen. Paul Pogba is back and will be back on the field? No, ragazzi. No. It hurts me. The race for likes, the race for being a source... You know, my experience, my experience is not a lot of people know. And most of the time, when it's not your profession, when you know you don't speak because you can't speak or you have a relationship with the player and they tell you some things and out of respect, you don't spread the word. Sometimes you hear something because you're working for something and out of sometimes you don't speak. Then you have people that are professionals. Romeo Agresti. It's his job to do so. Credible sources. I'm sad for people that had a lot of hope again on Paul Pogba. Because we are reacting to emotions. We are reacting to what we want. We are reacting to what we don't want. And that's a pity. We, we lose sometimes rationality. To judge something. So today I, I'm really I'm really sad. I'm really sad. I tell you the truth, I'm really sad. Now about that plea deal. I really wanted to link it with Juve. 
A lot of people told me Juventus they had to fight until the end last year, not accepting the minus 10 uh, points after risking the minus 15, not fighting for, no, not accepting a plea deal. They should have accepted, to fight until the end. <laughs> Today we see that you have risk in not accepting the plea deal. Juventus couldn't allow themselves to not accept the plea deal. Fighting, how long? One extra year, two seasons, three seasons. In all that time, being out of Europe, without all that cash, look at one year, eh? one year without Europe, the consequences is that on our finances, on our club, and by consequence on the field. Sometimes you are just blocked. Sometimes you are just blocked. And if you are an individual, alone, it's your responsibility, you can fight for it. If you are on top of a club, you are representing millions of fans, sometimes you just can't. And you have to. You are obliged to. This was it for me. I believe that uh, what I wanted to say about Paul Pogba, I'm sad about the guy. On the other side, responsible, you pay the consequences. Are four years hard? Well, when I'm looking at the history of the punishments in Serie A, in all the history, at the moment, if he's not able to overturn it, four years will be the maximum ever given to any player in the world. It's huge. It's big. It's something that is uh, what it is. We are speaking about uh, Guardiola, Maradona, all these people. No, none of us had four years. So it's huge. But again, if these are the rules, these are the rules. Hopefully, he will be able to find a solution. I really hope so. Why? Because me, as a person at Beppe, I always wish the best to people. Always. To everyone. Even if I don't like the person, whatever. i never jealous. I really hope the best for people. And sometimes when I can't wish the best because I don't agree or whatever, it's not a lot of time. But when I can't, well, I, I just shut up. I in your. I never wish something bad to, to someone. Or I never celebrate the misfortune of a player. And that's what probably hurted me the most. I see people, because they told so, they are celebrating Paul Pogba Ben. The misfortune of a person, more than a player. And this needs to make us think. Thank you. Grazie. Forza. Juve. Ciao.